Hello, this is Jimmy from Green Wave channel and this channel is mainly focusing on the cannabis industry and we are going to update this channel uh, at least once a week and bringing you the latest and the best method that we're using right now in this industry. Um, so today we're going to talk about the short path distillation because short path distillation is really popular um, right now. It's taking a hit. Um, what is that? Um, first of all, um, it is because the uh, cannabis oil is very popular right now. Uh, people use um, cannabis, cannabis oil in different way. Uh, they can infuse them into the water, making uh, CBD water, THC water, and they can also uh, infuse them into uh, bakeries, for example, like uh, brownies, chocolates, and they're easy and uh, easy to digest, and they're taking a hit and it is kind of a lifestyle right now and to take those um, CBD water. Um, so it creates a large demand uh, for the markets. A um, lot of supplier, a lot of uh, bakery, they're asking to, to try to purchase the uh, CBD oil. And it creates a huge demand for short pass as well because short pass make a uh, full spectrum oil, um, as we know. So um, in this video, we are going to explain the, the theory behind the short path distillation. So we are not going to do a short path distillation demonstration in this studio because in here we require a state license to run the cannabis processing. And uh, I don't have a license in this studio, but um, I will have another video coming out um, next week to demonstrate uh, the full process of the uh, short pass distillation in a licensed uh, facility uh, close to me. Uh, please stay tuned and click on the subscribe button and we will have that video ready for you in about a week. So um, let's talk about short pass. So short pass distillation. First of all, so let's explain the theory of distillation. What is distillation? I summarize the distillation as it is a chemical processing that can increase the purity of your target's contents by heating and cooling. So we require we have heating and cooling in, in the uh, distillation process and how it works. Um, I designed a small experiment uh, in, my, in this studio and with all the CBD and THC uh, using the regular stuff that we see in our life and uh, demonstrate what is the uh, distillation for you. Okay, so um, we have um, we have a empty bowl here, a glass glass bowl, and we have a uh, ethanol and uh, water and uh, vegetable oil, and this is WD forty, I think, should be. And this is what we call just like kitchen kitchen waste, just like um, uh, waste. So everything here, each contents right here, uh, symbolize uh, one thing in the uh, cannabis industry. So as we know, uh, in order to have a full spectrum oil, we need to get a crude oil first. So crude oil, you can get crude oil from uh, extraction. Uh, you have a lot of methods of uh, extraction. That would be another whole new topic that we're going to cover um, in the next few video. So luckily I pick up this one in the cannabis tray show and this is um, a full chemical uh, contents that might appear in the uh, cannabis industry. Uh, we have a uh, CBD THC family here we have the uh, terpene family here, so we have the uh, solvents, the residue, and uh, also um, everything else, just everything else, everything you, 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 you might met in the uh, cannabis industry, you will see in these charts. So each contents, they have different boiling temperature. Um, for example, the solvent one, they have a lower, lower boiling temperature around um, from 60 degrees C to 100 degrees C and the uh, this CBD they have a higher from 150 to 200 and terpene lower it, terpene is between the solvent and the uh, uh, CBD they, they, they usually they uh, boil at uh, about 130 degrees C 
Okay, so um, remember, as I mentioned, we are um, using degrees Celsius in this channel uh, because it's more practical, more easier to remember, and uh, that's right now I think it's the industry standard to use uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, so each one, each one in here uh, represent uh, uh, cannabis contents. So let me explain for you. So we have from from your left to right, uh, we have uh, ethanol, water, vegetable oil, WD-40, which is uh, uh, synthetic oil, and this is the waste. So from your uh, left to right, we have um, we are ranking them with the uh, boiling temperature. So this is the lowest boiling temperature, and this is the highest boiling temperature. So distillation is a method that you separate each content by uh, using playing with the temperature. For example, um, the ethanol they usually they come um, they boil at uh, 60, 60, 70, 80 it depends on the concentration of the uh, of your ethanol. But usually it's uh, much lower than water, and um, so we have water which you know the, uh, boil at 100. We have vegetable oil. This one is um, peanut oil. It will boil about 210. And this one is the uh, synthetic oil. This is uh, WD40, WD40, uh, which will be higher than vegetable oil, but slightly higher, about 250 to 300. This is the uh, kitchen kitchen waste. Now this is not liquid. Um, it's like small particles, and it cannot boil because it's not. Uh, liquid so it, it will just get burned okay so this is has a really really high uh, boiling temperature okay so we mix them together so we mix them into uh, this giant glass bowl so we have some water ethanol and we have oil put it here this is vegetable oil wow okay this is WD-40 Okay. And we have the uh, kitchen waste. So we have uh, everything right now in here. So this will be your crude oil for your cannabis. So now you have your um, mixture, which will represent the uh, cannabis oil, what we call crude oil. And uh, we are going to put it in the hot surface to heat it up, okay? But not in my studio. I'm not going to heat up. I know exactly when, uh, what is going to happen. I'm just going to explain and walk you through and what will happen, okay? So once this mixture reaches 60 degrees Celsius, the ethanol will just become in, uh, they, will be, they will be boiling and they will become uh, vaporized. So the vapor will come out. Once you place a cold surface on the top, the vapor uh, will hit the uh, cold surface and became and dripping down through this slope. You make sure that your surface has a slope, okay? And then you place a container at the end of the slope so that the uh, ethanol will just drip down to this bottle and you will collect the uh, a bottle of ethanol, just re recycle the ethanol from this mixture, okay? Next one is the water, right? So as soon as this container reach 100 degrees Celsius, it will become, the water will become vaporized. Same as the ethanol, it will condense in this cold surface and drip down to this cup, okay? Next one will be the vegetable oil, right? So as, uh, remember that the vegetable oil are boiling at 220 degrees around there. And CBD and THC, also boiling at that temperature, okay? But um, somebody wants CBD and somebody wants THC, but they are so similar. The boiling temperature are so similar. And it's very hard to separate them using the short pass, short pass distillation. I'm not recommending using a short pass to separate them. And if we want to separate them, we can do that, but in a much better um, equipment. It will call a white film equipment, white film distillation which we, I will talk about later because that machine have a better efficiency, have a better vacuum as well. And uh, I will introduce 
you to that one uh, in two weeks, okay? Now we are reaching 200 degrees C. The CBD and THC, all those oil will be coming, coming out and then condense also drip down to this bottle and you will have your CBD and THC combined in this one, okay? So, um, after that, what's remaining will be the waste. Uh, in cannabis, the uh, industry, the waste will, means that the, way, uh, the wax that you didn't get rid of in the previous uh, processing and also the sugar and the uh, some small particle uh, of the uh, cannabis uh, leaf which might be smaller than your filtration system, okay? So you have all of them in here. So there was uh, another very important um, thing in short pass. One important factor that is uh, vacuum. You need to have a good vacuum um, during the process. There are two reasons that uh, you want to keep a good vacuum. Okay, first is you want to cut the loss of the processing. Okay, if you're running this heating and cooling in an open atmosphere, the uh, vapor, your CBD and THC vaporized, they will go around your room. You know that we are selling the full spectrum oil by gram in the market right now. It's about eight to nine dollar per gram. Uh, different states have different price. So you might lose a few thousand dollars for just one, uh, one run if you're running without a vacuum. And second is that a vacuum can lower the boiling temperature of your target contents, okay? For example, uh, vegetable oil, they usually they boil at um, 200 to 300 uh, degrees Celsius. But if you're running if you are heating them in the uh, vacuum, for example, like uh, 20 Pascal, it will reduce to 130 to 170 degrees Celsius in that range. It depends on the what exactly oil you have. Because it's running, um, it's boiling at lower temperature, it actually is beneficial for you. First of all, you don't need to heat up that high temperature to get all the harvesting, all the like CBD and THC you want. Second, it will protect your material, okay? For example, the sugar and the wax at high temperature, for example, at 2000 degrees Celsius, these two contents, sugar and wax, they will burn and damage your glassware uh, severely, okay? I have met, I have uh, experience with that, trust me. That Those stuff is really hard to get rid of it will also um, damage your yields at that high temperature. So if you're running short pass at high temperature, which means your vacuum is bad. So get a vacuum gauge, check your vacuum, and running below uh, 200 degrees Celsius, okay? Um, so I think that would be all the content I would like to share with the uh, short pass. If you have any question, please, uh, message me. Uh, I will try my best to answer um, those questions. If I have talked something that is you think is not correct, uh, also please cor correct me. Um, we are uh, in the process of learning and sharing. So um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, next video will be we will heading to a facility that has a license. So we are going to show you um, what a short pass in the production would be looks like and what's the setting they're using and what's the yield they're, they're, they're getting, okay? So please subscribe and uh, click on the like button if you enjoy and uh, stay tuned. So see you next week.